So I don't know how many of you guys know what this is, but this is a splitter. And <laughs> so this actually came from Hoozle or Huzzle or whatever you want to call them uh, overseas. It's a Chinese company. And they got it for pretty cheap, and it's been working pretty good. But this got a little um, stiff, and I'm actually wondering if it's bent. So I was having trouble getting it uh, to thread all the way through. Um, like, it was near impossible to move. I had to put a hammer on it, eventually put the impact on it. Still had a hard time going. I'm wondering if this thread is actually bent or whatever. So what I've got in here is the next best thing, which is, I'm going to tap this bigger. I've got a 5 8 tap, and oh, oh, by the way, two fascinating facts about this unit. Uh, number one, I have no idea what thread size this is. I can't figure it out. I got a bunch of different thread sizes, and I am convinced, since uh, this is a Chinese company, this is, this is some type of British thread. It's not metric, and it's not um, standard. It's not uh, national pipe thread, so... Uh, or you, you, uh, national coarse thread or whatever it is. It's it's coarse thread, but not it's not uh, not fine thread. But I have no idea what actual thread pitch and whatnot this is. So, and I'm pretty sure it's not metric. Um. So I I, I don't know. <laughs> I couldn't find a tab for it. Anyway, uh, if somebody has a, an actual thread size for that, that'd be great because I would have loved to have tapped this, but doesn't matter. I'm retapping it. I'm going to tap it to something a little heavier. I happen to have uh, one of my tools here, which uh, was a subject of... Hmm, well, I was working at it a bit. Anyway, um, this particular tool is 5 8 uh, threaded rod, and I'm going to make this 5 8 threaded rod. Um, so it'll be heavier no matter what we're doing, and that's good. This will be less likely to bend that, less likely to have trouble threading through and I'll hopefully be able just to put two nuts on the outside and use that to turn the whole thing and then use the, the case splitter again uh, as is. So I'm going to see if I can actually tap this for 5 8 coarse thread and see where that leads us. Hopefully we can get a, a working product here. And oh, um, one other fascinating fact. So the the nub that was on the end here actually is in with a teeny tiny little allen. That teeny tiny little allen is one and a half millimeter um, I happen to have a T-handle for it. I believe this is one and a half millimeter and it fits. And you know, had I known that I probably should have just used it, pulled the, the tip out here but instead I didn't and I, I retracted the whole thing back out and the tip broke. Uh, whoops. Anyway Oopsie. Uh, uh, oh, 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 well. So anyway, so if I had kn known that little Allen set screw was there, I, I just wasn't paying attention, I probably would have saved that tip. Doesn't matter. I can make a new one. Not that big a deal. This will work for now. Okay, I'm going to tap this, and uh, I used a, a half-inch drill, which is probably too small of a drill bit. Um, I'm kind of hoping that this actually works. But I'm going to go nice and slow and uh, see where we end up. Jeepers. Okay, that was a lot of work. So, got this tapped. Hopefully for 5 8 coarse thread here. Easier way to do this, just weld a nut onto this. I drill the hole too big and then weld the nut, but I don't have the welder right now, so gotta make do. Let's see. That feels kind of tight. Hmm. I made for my other puller. If 
5 eighths 11. That's the stuff. I know what I did. The, the drill bit I used is too small, which means the minor diameter is probably too small, which means, yeah, it's just not going to fit through. So, I'll ream it. Okay, so I think I got it. So here's what you do. You have to have the right drill size, but this isn't a drill. This is a, a adjustable reamer, and it the whole thing barely fits right about now, so let me measure it. So right on about 525 is where we're at, and the whole thing goes in. So if you have the right drill size, which is which is 25 thousandths bigger than your regular half inch, it's got to be bigger than half inch, otherwise this ain't going to go. So here's, this is actually a puller piece, I just welded a nut on here. Uh, this is my original puller I used on the uh, the lawn tractor, believe it or not. And I used it to pull the wheel off, but then I adapted it for doing crankcases. And now I'm adapting it for this particular crankcase tool. So it seems to screw in here. A little tight, it's probably a little good one in there. But it's better than it was, I think. It's less likely to bend than it was before. And I can stick the impact on this if I really feel like it. Yeah, there it is on the other side. Cool. Let's try it on something. My kids are going crazy upstairs. Anyway, uh, let's see if that works. So this is the case that I was splitting, and, and the other the other one just didn't work. I wonder. Oh yeah, that's working. See how the crank is coming out? Right. Nothing fell. That's good. I'm trying to do this one-handed. So forgive me for that, but wow, that's cool. Now, one of the benefits to doing it that way, or splitting the case this way, instead of... Um, I, I, I actually showed in a previous video how to do this without a splitter. You can just do it with heat. But the problem with that is usually the bearings stay on here. So then you have to have a bearing puller to pull that off. Now, no bearings on here, and now tapping the bearings out of here is relatively easy but that's uh, a whole lot easier than it was uh, previously. So I like this now. This is actually a nice modification for this particular puller. Kind of a pain to re-tap it, but this is much stronger, and internally the threads are plenty strong, so I don't see why you can't... I mean, this is a lot of metal here, so I don't see why you can't use a 5 8 rod instead of the... Uh, it's, it's, it's not... It might be half inch, but I don't know. It's some funny. It's clearly smaller. So I like this little modification for this puller, and I uh, hope you guys do too. And I'm going to continue to use this as I need to split cases. I don't know how many more cases I need to split, but um, I'll use this for splitting cases and let you guys how I, know how I like it. So cool. What a project. Sorry about the uh, camera work here. I'm uh, on my cell phone because my GoPro up here is hanging out and my bench is already full with another 394. So, and clearly, um, I've got 
problems in here. I gotta literally unbury myself by building myself out of here all over again. Whoa, what a mess. Oh dear. Okay, anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.